Alright you guys, I'm here to review World War Z, and World War Z stars Brad Pitt as a man whose family and them has caught in the zombie apocalypse, basically. So now he must travel the world to find out where the outbreak of this uh, infection came from and see if they can find a cure to it. This movie is like a uh, Pacific Rim, okay? Within the first five minutes, everything is going to hell in a handbasket. It is awesome. Lots of fucking, uh, what's, what's that called? I am legend infected in this movie. And what I mean by that is they're all CGI. And there's a reason why they're CGI and it basically shows why they're CGI infected. Even though they use the word zombies, they, they, they're infected. Let's just take a, just think about that. And it takes about 12 seconds for the infection to kick in before after you're bitten. So it's very rapid. It's not like, oh, you've been bitten, you got like several hours. No, 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 you got literally seconds. Okay. And, uh, yeah, all this PG-13 zombie violence and all that good shit is abound. Now, shocking thing is, this movie has Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. And you're looking at this movie like, <laughs> yeah, a guy like Brad Pitt. You'll never think Brad Pitt would do a zombie movie. He did a zombie movie. The fuck? I'm like... Uh, that, that was my literally my first impression when I heard about this last year. I'm like, Brad Pitt doing a zombie movie? Really? Cool. <laughs> you know? Um, you you never thought on a level of Brad of a Brad Pitt we'll see in a zombie movie, but this movie's actually surprisingly good. I enjoy every part of it, even though some of it does is kind of not realistic. You know, plane crashes and something else yeah you've seen the movie so you know what I'm talking about if you've seen the movie if not you'll see what I'm talking about it's all crazy some of it is mostly unrealistic shit oh yeah Matthew Fox is in here yes right he's in here for like a millisecond even though he had more scenes in this film because most of his scenes were cut out during the last part and then the movie was basically reshot and you know what that's a good thing that this movie was reshot because if it, the original version probably came out it probably would have failed but since they had these reshoots and they delayed, re the, they delayed the react the release date to it, it evidently saved World War Z. Now I know World War Z has nothing to do with the book, for I read from several different reviews. I haven't read the book myself, so I really don't give a damn. I'm counting this as a movie, and as a movie, it is very entertaining. Okay, I I, I can't not lie about that part. It is a very entertaining zombie movie for a PG-13 zombie movie. Everybody making light of this movie is PG-13. Let's not forget, I Am Legend is also PG-13. People forget that? Yeah. So, all in all, I'm giving World War Z a B plus. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I also want to thank I Am Movies 343 for sending me the digital copy code. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will return your favor pretty soon. So don't worry. And the reason why I'm so happy... Well, you'll have to wait and see, because it's not all said and done yet, but when it does, I'll be back. So yeah, let me know, drop your comments down below, let me know what you guys think about World War Z down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? What did y'all think about it overall? So yeah, I am out.